Hey guys, just before I start this review, I want to give a quick shout out to Dr. Cookiehead for sending me a 30 day version of this gun. Uh, it saved me spending 5k GP on something that is, well, you'll find out in the review. Guys, I've already done a K7 review in the past, and this is just a revisit in case it has been nerfed since two years ago. Also, I apologize if I sound like I have a lisp. My microphone is playing up really badly and not recording my voice correctly, so I need to get a new headset. Um, I don't actually have, have a lisp, it's just the way my microphone is working at the moment. Piece of crap. Damn you, EB Games. Anyways, guys, enjoy this review. Okay guys, I did this review two years ago and you guys hated on me. You guys gave me so much crap. You guys were telling me, you're playing wrong, you're using the gun wrong, this gun is good, it has potential, you can get unbelievables and fantastics, this gun is the future of combat arms. Okay, maybe that's a little over the top. This gun is certainly not the future of combat arms and it's most certainly not a great gun either. But it has a couple of positives, I'll give it that. So, you guys hated on me for this review when I first did it. You guys were telling me that I wasn't playing correctly or that I wasn't using the gun right. Fair enough, maybe I wasn't. Maybe I was tired that day. Maybe I was having an off day on combat arms. We all have them. So, I decided to spend an entire day using nothing but the K7 to ensure that I knew how to use it correctly. Found the best maps to use it on. Found the best scope to use with it, which was the iTech. And decided to bring you guys a revisited revised review. That is really hard to say five times fast. You should try it. Anyway, I will be reviewing a few of my past reviews again because Combat Arms has progressed a lot in two years and so have the guns. New guns have come out which means old ones get modified slightly and they don't really announce it. The, way, the reason they do that is because if Combat Arms bought out a new gun, which was the same as a gun they bought out three years ago, why would you buy the new gun when it's exactly the same? as something that was bought out three years ago. So they changed the older guns to make them worse so that you will always buy new stuff and you will keep buying NX. You will keep spending your GP and you'll keep playing combat arms. So I thought, you know what, maybe the K7 is better now. Maybe it's changed. So here we are. This is a revised review of the K7. I will be completely impartial to this piece of <coughs> I won't say that yet. Guys, I have some bad news. This gun is shit. It has not changed. This gun is still the same piece of crap that it was two years ago when I reviewed it and you guys gave me crap. It is not a good gun. And you know why? It is for a private first class. It is a low rank gun. Yes, they give a G36 and an L9 to low ranks, but they need something decent. This gun is for recruits, for people playing in Jackson server with the hackers, to help them get better. You know, it's not meant to be a good gun. It's a training gun. It will basically teach you to be accurate and to keep shooting at your opponent to kill it. Now, the one thing this does have going for it is its accuracy. It has about 10 shots that are going to go pretty much straight up. Right there, it took me two shots to headshot Chris. Two shots. A headshot should be one. One single shot should be a headshot. But it wasn't. It takes two with a fucking K7. That's not even the worst part. If you shoot somebody anywhere else except the back, it's going to take 7 to 8 hits to kill them. I'm not even kidding. If you don't believe me, this changes to junk flea soon, so you can see the close quarter combat side of the K7, and it literally takes 7 to 8 hits to kill someone. Now, if you miss a few of those shots, you're getting maybe 2 kills on a clip. It is a really bad gun. So, I had all these people telling me, oh, you can get unbelievables and all that. Bullshit. It doesn't happen, guys. I'm sorry. This this gun is the same as it was two years ago. Now, in saying that, it does have its accuracy. It does have high portability. It has a moderately high rate of fire. And it's 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 got that accuracy on its side, but only for 10 shots. And even then, it's not comparable to things like the P90. I know the P90 is a whole different gun, it's not related, but it isn't a gun you should go out and just be like, oh, I'm going to buy a, a K7 and go and rape some ass. Like, it doesn't work that way. This gun is just so bad. 
the fact that people believe they can get unbelievables kind of astounds me. You know, you might be able to get them if people are lit already. Uh, you might be able to get them if you've already used other guns and then you pull out the K7 and get the last couple of kills. That's not an unbelievable with a K7. That's just getting two kills and four others with different guns. So you got a double kill with the K7. I've gotten double kills with the K7. It's not easy, but right there, here you go. Oh, no, he killed me. Okay. See, I shot him like seven times and he still didn't die. Like, that just shows you how bad this gun is. But for all of you out there that think that this gun is decent, that you can actually get an unbelievable using nothing but the K7, well, stay tuned because I'm going to give you guys the chance to win a free SMG, a permanent SMG, in about six months. Yeah, you got to wait a bit. I'm giving you some time to do this. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of this video to find out exactly how. Make sure you like my Facebook page to find out exactly how because all entries must be submitted via the Facebook page. Anyways, guys, getting back to this review, <coughs> if you can call it that. Uh, oh, I didn't even know Toot Toot was in this game. He was calling me a hacker in the next game and raging because I was, um, uh, I kicked his ass with the P90. And then I knifed him a few times and he was just raging and calling me a hacker. It was quite funny. I didn't even know he was in this game. This game was like five games before that. Uh, <laughs> I tried to try to Superman knife. See, I, I, I got to the point of this game, I just wanted to have fun. Like, this gun was pissing me off today. Yesterday, day before, whenever the fuck I did this review. I don't even remember. This gun is really bad, guys. As you can see by the stats on the side, it doesn't live up to them. It reckons it has a 30 hit. Well, as I said, it has a 16 because it takes 7 or 8 hits to actually kill. And if you miss a couple, you're only getting about 2 kills out of that clip, which allows you to get a double kill. Maybe a multi if you're really fucking lucky and you only get headshots. I mean, even trying to get a fucking uh, um, unbelievable just headshots with this, you're not likely to. Only because you're going to miss some shots and it takes like 2 hits to get a fucking headshot with this thing. I can't believe I missed with the boneyard then, that was depressing. Anyways guys, apart from how crap this gun is, um, I don't really know what else to say. This is the second time I've had to film this video because my microphone is stuffing up so much. But, apart from that guys, I'm sorry, but this gun is crap. Now, I'll be revi bit, revisiting a few other guns on this throughout my reviews. Um, because, as I said, Combat Arms has changed, so some of the guns have changed, and I want players to actually be able to find reviews that are up-to-date and adequate. You know, obviously Backstar stopped doing reviews, so someone has to pick up the slack. Um, I was never a fan of Backstar, like, his reviews are great, by the way. Um, but, on a personal level, he's a really arrogant cunt. Really arrogant and stuck up. Anyway, that's getting off topic and getting personal. Never mind. Uh, he actually raged. I knifed him when he raged one day. That was quite funny. Uh, that was in Two Towers, too. He was, like, shooting down the ramp towards the spawn, and they came out the window from above him and knifed him, and he was like, oh, blah, 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 and left. Anyways. Getting back to this, like, like, my mind is wandering. I'm so bored watching this footage and trying to commentate on it. It's It's just a really bad gun, guys. Like, really, don't go out and buy this. Um, unless, of course, you're going to go for this free perm. So, that's probably what you guys are still listening to me ramble about. Free permanent gun. Right. So, a lot of people think they can get unbelievables with this. A lot of people think that this gun is really good, and that they can be pro with it. So, here is your invitation to prove me wrong. I invite everybody who is watching this video to use this gun to collect as many accolades as you can and put a montage together. The montage needs to go for a decent amount of time, so that's two and a half to three and a half minutes, the average length of a song. Edit the montage properly, chuck a song on it, edit it to the song if you want, like, the fancier the montage, the better, like, just, just for entertainment value. Whoever puts together the best montage, using nothing but a K7 to get accolades, and they need to be decent accolades, no just fucking, oh, you got like 20 multi-kills with it. Cool story, bro. I oh, got an unbelievable plus three. Really? Okay, let me see this. Oh, you had friends stand around? That doesn't count. These need to be proper accolades. They can't be pre-planned shit, and it can't be stuff that's, you know, just blatantly hacky, neither. 
If you can put together a montage of your skill with the K7, I will send you a free perm SMG and I'm going to give away one. One perm SMG to whoever puts together the best montage. Your montage will be judged on your editing, on the length of your montage, and the amount of accolades that you got. So if you put together a montage of two Fantastics and 15 Unbelievables, and someone puts one of six Fantastics and nine Unbelievables, well, you do the math. Who do you think is going to win? Somebody picked up Unbelievable Pluses, somebody didn't. Whoever puts together the best montage will win a free perm SMG. And I'm going to give you six months to do it. Six months from the date this video is posted. If nobody submits a, a montage, well, then nobody gets a gun. That's simple. So if only one montage is submitted and it's actually decent, you will win an SMG. So guys, start recording. Crack out the K7. Everyone can fucking get one. You can hit the rank to get the K7 within about 20 minutes of game playing combat arms. It's not hard. Do like one game of quarantine and you will get enough EXP to hit private first class. So, good luck with that guys, because you're going to need it. Also, I'm not going to say I'm going to give you a P90, I'm going to give you an M960. You get to choose the SMG. So whatever SMG you guys want, that's what you get. Uh, that was such a lot of head start on T Phoenix too. Oh, I needed the drink. My mouth is going dry from like talking about this crappy gun. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for more revised reviews and new comment arms reviews. Send me, like, let me know what you want me to review because right now I'm just picking shit out of my inbox and be like, hey, I'm gonna do this one today. Uh, like, I only do this for a hobby, guys. I don't do this because. Like, I like making reviews. It is it is good fun, but, you know, I want to give you guys what you want, so let me know. I do take requests, unlike some people. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of this gun, guys. Are you any good with it? If so, prove it. Put your money where your mouth is, and I'll put my money where your mouth is. That sounded so wrong. That was meant to imply that I will give you a gun if you are actually good with this K7. So, it uh, doesn't matter who you are, whether you're a clan mate, a friend, just a fan, a random YouTuber, random CA player. Spread the word, let them know there's a free gun out there. All you got to do is follow me on Mystic Reviews Facebook page, just type in Mystic Reviews. The link is in the description. All the details for the competition are in the description, as well as the end date for the competition, which will be updated, like, give me a day or two after this video comes up to actually put all of the information in there. If I put it in while this video is uploading, a lot of times it'll actually corrupt the upload and it will go, oh, your information is too long and it just has a hissy fit. So it'll it'll take me a bit of time to actually fix shit up. Go watch the other review if you think that this one is incorrect and then compare how I play if you think I'm not using it correctly in either of them. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review because I did not enjoy making it. It is a crappy gun. Do not go and buy it. Highly not recommended. And uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay footage, guys, because I'm out. This is this is like this is the end of it for me. I am so sick of this crap. Also, side note: anybody who I used to play with, Nano, uh, Gift Metal CA, I think your name is or whatever it is. Um, anybody who used to play CA with, kiss my waffle. Uh, Synthridge, I think I have you on Facebook. Then um, hit me up on Facebook or YouTube because I want you guys to come back. I need your help with a project. Play montage coming to this channel soon. My montage coming to this channel soon, and there was something else I was going to do, and I can't remember what the fuck it is. I've just got too much shit going on at the moment. But I'll be back on CA regularly, guys. So if you want to join the clan, make sure you send in the uh, clan request. I'm trying to talk really fast because for some reason I think the footage is about to end, and it's got like two minutes left. I don't know what the fuck. I just want this over like so badly. Uh, as you can see, guys, like it's taking so many hits to hit someone. Nearly all of those shots actually hit that player then too, and he like didn't die. P90 gets the job done. Uh, if you guys want any type of reviews, as I said, send them in. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Cough, cough, I'm begging for subs. Not really, I don't care. Subscribe if you want, subscribe if you don't want. Doesn't bother me. I'm still going to put videos out regardless. And um, have fun, guys. And don't hack. Oh, also, I apologize for the random hacker videos that appear on this channel. They're purely for Nexon and uh, um, CBL. And whenever we start claim warring, like, if we claim on one of them, we're like, hey, you guys are a hacker, fuck you. It's really funny when you inbox a hacker, 
and be like, I busted you, nigga. And they're like, no, you fucking didn't. And then you send them to your YouTube and then they block you on CA. Like, dude, it's already been sent to Nexon. You're fucked, man. Nexon know when you name change. They're not idiots. Well, they're not always idiots. Okay, they're sometimes idiots. But, you know, that's just sometimes. Um, <laughs> I didn't even realize I had the flag. I was like, oh, shit, I have a flag. Whoops. Ah, I suppose I should jump down. Uh, enjoy the rest of the footage, guys. I'm out. I'm sick of this stupid gun. Please do not ever ask me to review a K7 again. God, that gun is crap. And if I ever see somebody kill me with one in game, I'm going to rage so hard. Yeah, that's secretly an invitation for you guys to start using one to try and kill me so that I can fucking rape you with my guns before you have the chance. Because God only knows you're going to fire 10 shots of that thing, I'm going to fire 3 of my P90 and you're going to be dead before I've taken 60 damage. See you guys.